All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a college football preview of the BYU Cougars for the 2006 season. Now, they actually have a new coaching staff this season. Brocko Mendenhall, as well as um, a Robert Anyag, actually transferred and headed over to Virginia, where Mendenhall is the new head coach, and Anye, um, Robert Anye followed him as his offensive coordinator, just like how he was at BYU. So they have a new coaching staff. With their new head coach is Kalani Satake, coming out of Oregon State. He's a defensive-minded coach, the D.C. For the Beavers, offensive coordinator, familiar name, Ty Detner, the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback for BYU to orchestrate the offense. And they have uh, uh, Isila, uh, Isila Tukiki, sorry if I mispronounced your name, I'm so sorry, um, Tukiki, um, the new defensive coordinator for the Cougars. Now, they do have some returning key players offensively, starting with sophomore quarterback Tanner Mang Mangum, who had 23 touchdown passes to just 10 picks last season. But he is going to have to play without the top two wide receivers for this team, Miss Matthews, who's trying out for the uh, Kansas City uh, Chiefs and Devin Blackman, their top two wide receivers are no longer with the team. Nick Kurtz is going to have to step it up and be that premier receiver for Magnum to throw to. But he does have some help in the ground attack led by Al Brown, who reminds me of Curtis Brown a couple of years back when he was the running back for the Cougars. Good tough runners who could give you some good gains as the season progressed. It's particularly in the middle games last season where Al Brown had a couple of big games where he had multiple rushing touchdowns. Now, on the defensive side, there's two players that I am looking at. Starting with Harvey uh, Langai. Um, he's a decent player. Four and a half sacks to go on with, along with two interceptions. And they do have a good um, a player in the secondary in Kai uh, nu uh, Nukua, who actually led the team with six interceptions last season. Showed that he could catch the, um, has some good ball skills, which is a great threat against, uh, against opposing offenses. Now, I think they have an interesting schedule because they have some great teams they have to deal with this year. An interesting schedule. September 3rd, they have to face against Arizona. And the next week, they have to face at um, Utah. September 17th, against UCLA. That's going to be a good game to watch. September 24th, against West Virginia. That's going to be interesting in the Big 12 play, um, which is actually an interesting, could be a preview, because BYU can might transfer and join the Big 12 conference in football play. But we're still seeing Big 12 is trying to um, pick up players, um, not players, but uh, other teams to join the conference to become more of a super conference. Um, October the 8th, they're going to have to be playing at Michigan State. That's going to be interesting. Next week, is going to have to play against Mississippi State SEC school. And another interesting matchup is October 22nd at Boise State. So this is actually a pretty good schedule. If they have a great schedule and only have, like, at or at worst, one loss this season, they should make it to the college football playoff, but we will see. Now, I highly doubt that. I actually have this team going 8-4 and four overall, a good record, particularly with a tough schedule. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have two more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.